Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really nice little gift bag to show you. Um, and I've gone kind of OTT with the decoration. I've got these little pom-poms, I've got these little tassels, I've got the tag here, do not open until the 25th of December. You can pick it up better in the light. All held together with a bulldog clip. Okay, you can see there this lovely paper. This is that Craftsmith. Um, no, it's not Craftsmith, sorry. Um, another um, brand. I'll show it in a minute. And basically, you just take off the top, so it's all attached, like so. And then this piece comes down, and it has this embossed um, ho ho ho, which I really like. And then inside is obviously the bag itself to fill with whatever you would like. So it's a really nice size. This one measures up at uh, three and a quarter by four and a half um, and obviously the height of this is nearly nine inches so it's just a really nice one and then that piece that comes up and then you just attach it all together and it's just a really really cute little gift box there so let's crack on and make it so you need I've just put everything on this tray that I used so this is the stamp set um, brand unknown I think it was free in a magazine I use the do not open until 25th and the ho ho ho. I've used that before in other things, but it's just really nice because they're nice big ones. So that's that. To make the tassels, these amazing scissors. So these are kitchen scissors for cutting um, vegetables and stuff and making them look all fancy, but I've never used them in the kitchen and they're perfect for making tassels and I'll explain that in a bit. Corner rounder, punch if you want to. My embossing um, powder is the Glitter Gold by Paper Mania. Um, I love this stuff, it's so sparkly. So I've already done that, so there's that one there. Again, you can see, it's just such a nice stamp. So I've done that. I've used these pom-poms, which I've used in a few now of my Christmas tutorials. I've just thread them through and put some string on the ends. This is just this garden, baker's twine, whatever it's called. I've done one tassel, so I'm gonna show you how to make another one um, during the tutorial. This is who the papers are by, Authentic You, Authentique, Authent I don't know, that's it anyway. <laughs> I'll share all the links in my blog. A nice bulldog clip, I've got these gold ones here from Stamping Up, and then all of the card. So, so the main card size you need is eight and a quarter by 11. You need two pieces of that. Then you need, I cut this from a sheet of 12 by 12, so you need a piece of four and a half by 12, Sorry, two pieces of four and a half by 12. And then with the leftovers, it will be three by 12. And you want to cut that in half so you've got two pieces of one and a half by 12. And these are what we're going to use for our tassels. Okay, so maybe a bit clearer there. So two pieces of four and a half by 12. And then two pieces of one and a half by 12. Okay, so let's do a little bit of scoring. So I've already heat embossed this one for the inside, um, but I'll tell you when you need to do that. So scoring along the eight and a quarter inch side, you want to score at four and a half inches and at seven and three quarters. Okay, then rotate the card and scoring along the 11 inch side, you want to score at seven and three quarters. Okay, repeat that scoring on your second piece. So you will have two pieces like so. And then on these, um, pattern pieces you want to score at three and a quarter and again uh, three and a quarter okay these ones here your one and a half by twelve you want to score along the one and a half inch side at what at half an inch all the way down just do that on the other piece obviously I've already made my tassel but you want two where you scored at it was half wasn't it yeah half an inch okay so that's all the scoring done so let's just get rid of that Okay, so what we do first is we get the burnishing all done. So you just need to burnish all of your score lines. That's those ones. And then I've just round corner punched these pieces as well. So if you want to do that, you can. And then burnish all of these pieces. Okay, and grab some scissors. And then all you're going to do is, so with this bottom here facing you, you just want to cut up those score lines and cut up to the first score line. And just trim off any excess you might have. Just so it this end over here, we're just going to cut out completely. Like so. Then what you want to do is just take a little kind of wedge out the corner there. 
a little notch off the end, okay? So that is what you want. Okay, so repeat that on your second piece, exactly the same pattern. Okay, so I've got them all done. Obviously, remember now, this is when you would want to do your heat embossing or any decoration um, on your for the box for the inside bit, um, for the bag, sorry. Now we just need to attach it together. So I've just got some of my red tape here. You just want to run red tape down both of these tabs here one of them and you're just going to line this up so start from the top make sure your top's nicely lined up and just stick that down so the score lines at the bottom will meet and then turn it over um yeah sorry i forgot what i was doing then and oh just do the same should just fall nicely down all into place and there you will see you're starting to get a really nice little bag coming together so what you want to do now is bring the back one up and those two side ones in so just get some tacky glue and just roughly put all the glue there and then when we turn it up the right way we can spread that all out Okay, turn that over and then just grab your ruler and you can just splodge all that glue out to make sure it's spread out. Okay, and then what you want to do is just push in the sides and you can just pinch it and it will kind of start to go into the shape that we want. So that's that piece done. So now we need to add on our DSP. So you want one piece, it's going to stick underneath. And you're going to stick the whole thing onto the back of your... You don't have to, you could have it hanging as well. You could do design on the back as well. Um, but I'm going to stick this one down here. So I'm just going to put some tape on all of this, apart from uh, the very top. You've got to make sure. It's about an inch, so don't stick any more than an inch there. In fact, I'll do that first so I know not to go past that. Okay, so make sure I've got my front one there. I'm just going to sit it into that score line and then bring that down and then just bring this all up. Like so. Okay, and then with the front one, all we need to be doing is just putting some tape just along this bottom piece because obviously that front is going to hang down so you get to see a little message. So again, I'm just going to sit this one, lining it up, that score line, and I can just sit that down like so, and then that will come up. And obviously close over that one there once it's all pinched together like so so now it's just making the tassel and the decoration so what you need to do really really easy so with that long strip so you've done your half inch score line then grab these brilliant scissors and just cut up to that score line so all it is is a little gauge and just work your way along and you will have a tassel in no time and these are just really, really fun. I actually forget I've got them. But uh, I think you'll agree how quick that was. So once you've done that, all you then need to do is just carefully, like you would with ribbon when you're wrapping a present and stuff, just roll all those tassels. Like so, and then I'm going <laughs> to give it a right angle, roll the whole thing as well, so it just helps it when we come to put it together. And then grab some string, so what string did I put this on? The red, so I'm just going to put it at the other end of this. And you just want to start from one end, put a little splodge of glue, put a little, run a little bit of glue along it actually, 
just to start us off and then pop that so it's all within that one inch um, score line area and just kind of start off the beginning by rolling that card around that ribbon or the string whatever it is you're using and once it gets going it will then just roll like it's starting to now very easily making sure you're keeping it always in line with this so you're not going off course um, and you'll have a really nice little tassel so I'm just going to continue sticking this down okay there you have it and you can play around and kind of poof it up a little bit more curl them even more and stuff but so I've just got two hanging like so so now with my pom-poms what I'll do is just kind of decide how you want it to kind of cascade because I want obviously the pom-poms not to all sit in line with each other I like the more different um, like lengths so see there they're kind of all coming down and then I can add in where I want that one to be and I have that one a bit higher so once I'm happy with the way it's all going to look then I can tie it all together at the top I forgot my little tag as well so I'll just thread that through so I've just hole punched through that one there okay and then we just put it all together so close it up pop your bulldog clip in so you can see and then And there you go. Just a really, really pretty gift bag. Let's line that up. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I just love all this fun, fun bits and pieces on it. And I know the person that I'm giving this to will keep all of this stuff. <laughs> so you can see the shimmer there with that embossing powder. It's lovely. So there you have it. Two really cute gift bags ready for... Uh, to go under the tree. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye!